Yo, what's good, John? Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a player's mouse position. I want to first start off by saying I got a new microphone. Anyone who, who's seen any of my other videos, you will definitely hear the difference and stuff. People have already told me I sound better. I asked my people in my Discord and stuff like that. They said I already sound better, so I hope I do. If I do, let, for sure, let me know in the comments and stuff. Um, Expect majority of the videos after this one to include, like, I'm trying to push out all the videos that I already recorded with my old mic so that all the videos I have coming out now are like videos with my new mic and stuff. So the quality is way better and stuff. So if you do see some videos after, posted after this video where I sound the same as before, then that's why. Because it was already recorded before and stuff. I have like, I think four or five left that I'm still trying to get out. But anyway, let's get straight into it though. Okay, so you want to head on over to starter player, starter player scripts and insert a local script, right? And you can name this get mouse script. You can delete print hello world then you can do local player is equal to game dot players dot local player there's actually two ways that you can get a player's mouse right or mouse position i should say right now i'm gonna show you all both ways so let's make a second variable let's do local uis is equal to game get service user input service right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to say player get mouse dot it where as you guys can see we've retrieved the mouse now you can choose what you want so if we if we did just dot hit it would get the, the player's c frame like the, the c frame of the mouse position i should say right but if i do hit dot position that would give me the three the actual you know position of the mouse or i could do the look the look vector like the direction the mouse is in and stuff or like it's yeah kind of positioning if that makes sense right so you could do it like that or you can also do uh what's it called us dot get mouse location which also works but this is more this is more so tailored for like uis though right like if you're trying to get like a mouse position because you're trying to make like a like you're trying to do ray casting like you're trying to make guns or something like weapons and stuff then it's better to probably in my opinion use player get mouse that hit that position and stuff but if you're used like if you're doing ui and stuff like that you have GUIs and stuff, and you're trying to get a mouse, the player's mouse location. I would recommend using UIS though, and stuff. But you can experiment with both, see whichever one works for whatever it is you're trying to do, and stuff. But yeah. So say I had a function where um, uh, every time I press the E key, it retrieves my like it prints my mouse's position. So let's let me set that up as a function real quick. Let me delete this right, and I'm gonna do UIS that input began colon connect function in parentheses in parentheses i'm going to put input then if input dot user input type is equal to enum dot user input type dot keyboard then if input dot key code is equal to enum dot key code dot e then print player colon get mouse dot hit dot position right then I can go ahead and play test this. Then now every time I press E, I should see my mouse position in the output menu. Yep, there you go. Now obviously if I don't move my mouse, obviously if I don't move my mouse, it'll you know stay in the same position. But if I move it around, you guys will see a whole bunch of different positions and stuff. And yeah, that's how you achieve a a player's mouse position. It's that simple and stuff. I uh, hope this video was helpful. If it was, leave a like and subscribe. Links to join my Roblox group and Discord can be found in the description. Also, you can join my channel and get access to all my scripts, as well as models and anything else you may need, and along with some other benefits that you guys can check out in the description. Yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.